Okay, so I'm here with Greg Jackson, and I just took a video of your flight um, with the uh, Synergy 766. And I noticed um, when you were competing that it seemed more like a 3D flight uh, than kind of like the hover over the flags type of flight. And so basically I was kind of wondering how you set up your machine for that or maybe a little about the competition. Um, so could you give me a little details about that? Sure thing. Yeah, so I do set it up just like a 3D uh, helicopter, any of the others that you fly. The main difference between F3C, it does consist of a lot of hovering maneuvers and various formations in the okay. sky. F3N is just like XFC, Global 3D, or Heli Masters. Uh, there is a bigger portion that the judges are looking for as far as precision okay. and accuracy. And there are several rounds. There are set maneuvers, freestyle, and then flight to music. Okay. Now, does it matter, um, because I know some pilots seem to be high up there, some to be, seem to be low, um, and I noticed that some of the different pilots had, a, had a, like their own thing. So it's, is it a set maneuver, or is it you're just kind of flying um, your own type of right. pattern? Yeah, for the freestyle portion, you can integrate set maneuver type of patterns, but you're supposed to take a little bit of a creative twist on it. Um, okay. And the main thing that you want to do is to open up the, the flight envelope. So that way you are using various portions of the field as opposed to keeping in into just one location. So the more you can experiment with depth and um, reversals, lots of mm -hmm. reversals tend to score pretty high. Okay, okay. Because I noticed um, some of the judges, I mean, you have some of the top guys like Ben Stork, top 3D guys right. uh, judging you. Yeah. Um, he had three different judges. Uh, now, as far as your actual helicopter, so as far as your, your 766 there, so you pretty much just set it up for a straight 3D, I would guess then. Yes. Okay. I, um, I know some people for their set maneuvers might experiment with different uh, settings so that it might be a little bit easier to perform a very accurate role. Mm -hmm. I experimented with that on simulator and in real life. It just did not work very well for me mm -hmm. so instead I just rely on muscle memory and kinesiology and just a lot of practice and still trying to perfect collective management okay okay um, so you're saying you, you did a lot of sim practice for us I, it sounded to me from listening to you from the free fall RC podcast ah, I mean you podcast. were, you were yes. doing a, a lot of like sim practice a lot of flying in real right. life a lot of practice up until the end of May. Okay. Um, at that point, I was averaging around 20 to 25 hours on the simulator and as many flights during the week all year long. At the end of May, I started having some helicopter issue, uh, okay. tuning <laughs> issues really with a different model. After two months of dealing with that and starting a new job, Last week, I decided to build this one okay. and try to get it tuned the best I can, and hopefully I can fine-tune it a little bit more in the next few hours. Okay, yeah, so basically everything's right, rushed at right. the end. Yeah. <laughs> that always seems to be the case with any type of competition. That's you know? right. Whether it's a speed guy, um, a scale guy, you yeah. know, and it's always like everything. I mean, even uh, my friend Pete was saying, it's like, yeah, I got everything just done, <laughs> like, you know, before and the contest. Because so. of, uh, well, not karma, but I don't want to jinx anything. Yeah. I'm not going to make any comments about that. I, things are hopefully going to continue mm -hmm. going well. Mm -hmm. I hear you on that. And afterwards, then I'll talk about the other portions. The other portions. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just looking at your 766. It looks like you got you have a Casa 120, uh, uh, 160. 160 amp, 160 amp. Right. Um, and you got a Scorpion motor there. Right. Uh, and what do you have for fly bar? So right. you in there. So um, yeah, I can turn around, excuse the wires. This was a quick wiring okay. job. We'll go from the other side. Okay, very good. There but I'm um, very <laughs> fortunate with my sponsors, Team Synergy and okay. Rail Blades, okay. of course, the 766 blades. Uh, for servos running the BK7002 HD. Okay. Okay. For cyclic, for the tail, you cannot really see it. It's the 7006. Okay. For fly barless, 
running the Brain 2 oh, HD. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All right, sweet. And of course, you saw the Scorpion Ultimate motor. Okay. The, not the HK2 that is about to come out. Maybe okay. soon. Okay, okay. And running, um, so sponsored by Scorpion also, along with BK and MSH Brain. Then for batteries, sponsored by Pulse. So running the 5,000 milliamp packs, uh, 45C. Okay, okay. Didn't, I have 65C, but you know, you uh, don't for need me, any, these yeah, are working a, Yeah, I hear fine. you, I hear you. And running the Castle 160 Edge, not sponsored by there, but Clint Atkins has just been really, really good to me. So okay. I uh, like to stay loyal to those when I can. Okay. Now, um, what transmitter are you using, Ben? I am probably... using a Jetty, which a Jetty. I okay. uh, took back there. Okay. Um, it's my other sponsor. Right now, I'm running the BK Edition okay. 14. The plan, possibly this fall, is to try the DS24. Okay. It's mainly because of the gimbals, not for uh, having that many channels. And the other thing is that, um, so you, if you have a Brain 2 and you have a Jetty, I guess you're getting a lot of that telemetry information out of there. I am. Um, the main difference for this, uh, just because I did not want to potentially have any other issues come yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Last week I did unplug telemetry. Okay. Because you have to plug in a special diode connector. Uh-huh. And I just didn't want... Just to playing safe for right now and then maybe right. mess with it later on. I got gotcha. you. I hate to say it, I really miss having the... Uh, milliamp readout yeah and yeah. Uh, a lot of the other telemetry functions but as soon as i finish this competition i will plug get that it all back going in. so how long you've been flying with the jetty jetty has been a year and a half now okay okay um, i was with jr and um once i gave jetty a try and bert camera mm -hmm. switched over i'm uh, i owe bert a lot he's been a fantastic person to me along with Matt Helping Bodas and even Jamie Robertson mm -hmm. but that's when um, I decided to try out Jetty and I had never flown with the Jetty until I received my personal transmitter loved it so pretty sweet for me it works best good good for big size hands and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm used to the weight helps you out well as somebody was telling me too like one thing that they liked about with the brain was that if I get if I get it correct is you could change your banks which will change your head speeds but then you can also change your flight style separately so i don't know if maybe you took advantage of that at all or, or... it actually goes even further than that okay. you can change you can put that where the different banks will give you different head speeds but okay. i usually keep those on my idle ups okay uh, i have three idle ups and then for the three banks <laughs> i uh, have a less aggressive setting uh -huh. uh, in case maybe i'm not as alert and I just uh -huh. need to get in some flights. Then my regular setting I fly 98% of the time and then my insane setting in case um, for some reason I think that Tariq has flowed through my system. Flowed through your system. But of course that wanna... never happens. <laughs> never happens. You want to bring out his uh, right. bring out his aura to help you for your flight. Yeah. Alright well thank you very much. Thank and, you. Uh, congratulations competition.